lovely people how is everyone doing this is dj antidote from melbourne welcome back to the channel a brand new day a perfect day to do a historical steam engine ride yes you heard it right i am at belgrave puffing billy and i'm going to do the australia's most premier reserved steam engine ride around puffing billy east dandenong which is pretty close like 60 minutes ride from Melbourne city so without further ado and without me talking a lot let's check out this particular place and see how it looks I'm pretty sure it will be amazing and if you have liked till now please subscribe to the channel spread the love and you will find amazing videos coming in and out in this vlog so let's check out Puffing Billy welcome to Puffing Billy So as you can see there's some important decisions that's happening over here and we know what that important decision is so you guys don't know what the important decision is it's photography videography doesn't carry any value it's photography look look at this person she sleeps all the way and then she freshens up at the spot right she's still sleeping <laughs> all right cool how are you guys finding this place is it green? Refreshing. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are inside Puffing Billy Station and we have got Jeff with us. He's the station master. For how long, Jeff? I've been a station master here for about 20 years now. 20 years? Did you hear that? So tell me more about this place. This is my first time I'm coming. So, a oh, bit of history. Okay, Puffing Billy, Puffing Billy opened up 120 years ago. Okay. And now you've got the announcement. Perfect. The COVID announcement. So, Puffing Billy opened up 120 years ago, and at that time, it was the only reliable way of connecting Belgrade with the area up in the hills. Oh, the okay. so a lot of the lot of the business in those days came from bringing timber out oh, of the yes, forest yes, yes. down to Melbourne for construction. Yes. And going the other way, yes. people brought in all their daily needs. This is long before the roads were built, oh. long before trucks, so people people's uh, all their daily needs came in by train and all yes. their farm produce and timber came out. That's lovely. That's This is the scene where it pushes the piston and that's the, that's the historic engine as you can see. Lovely. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are at the engine room of the historic train over here and we have got David and Graham. Graham yeah. Alright, so Graham, how long have you been riding this beautiful train? I've been working on these engines for over 40 years. 40 years? Yeah. So you've seen, you've seen things changing? Oh yes, a lot yes? of change there. Yeah. yeah? A lot of change. And what are the changes like? Like how was the history back then and what's changed now? Well, this platform here used yeah. to be up the other side on the hill up there. Yep. About a 1 in 30 gradient. Yep. So uh, you'd have to steam hard all the way to come back of an evening. Okay. So what's the mechanism and what's all about this? Up there you've got a lubricator. Yep. That supplies oil yep. to our cylinders yep. and our pump. Yep. Like a honey Yeah. <laughs> Uh, over the back there is our speed recorder. Yep. That's alright. Yep. You can leave it, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> our speed recorder, it's got a paper chart that records yep. the uh, speed we're going at. So if it was ever in an accident, they could, you know, pin it on you. Yep. These two brass handles here. Yep. That one's the uh, locomotive only brake. Yep. This one's the whole train brake. Oh, yep. Up here we've got our uh, pressure gauge, yep. the pressure of the, the steam and the water in the boiler here, oh, yeah, and above it. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have reached Lakeside. Lakeside is the last stop when you start from Belgrave in your Puffing Billy, which is right behind. And this particular train, uh, which is standing in platform number two through which we came, is going to turn the side and then we go to platform number two. So our next train is going to leave from platform number two from here. So without further ado, it's time to munch something because we are very, very, very hungry. So to do that, um, let's hop in and get inside the cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I want to show you is this over here. We are at lakeside at this altitude and then we'll go all the way, we'll climb up to Emerald. Then we come back, then we go to Meninzi Creek and then we come back, come back, come back. And then Belgrave is at this altitude. So we'll head back to Belgrave. So we'll start from here and then all the way to here. Guys, um, Alina. Alina. Liva. Liva. All right. Alina, Liva. Is this your first time coming to Puffin Billy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. What's the best part of Puffin Billy? The train. The train. <laughs> right. Did you get a chance to see the steam engine? Yes. And do you remember who was the first person to discover the steam engine? Yeah. 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 Google it. Even I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know? Before steam engine, how were the railway uh, wagons being carried or pulled? Any idea? Why oh, they push you like this? With a yeah. Yes. And? Um. Horses. Oh yeah? Yay! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and finally we are back at Belgrave. As you can see, the steam engine Puffing Billy is all set to rest for the rest of the day and start again tomorrow morning. So it was a lovely ride going uphill to Lakeside and then coming back to Belgrave. If you guys are in Melbourne and if you are coming, it's a 50 minutes to 60 minutes drive to Belgrave and to Puffing Billy. And you should definitely visit this place because this is the place to be. You will be reliving your old memories and it will be not only awesome but lovely. You have shown a lot of love to me till now and I want more love to be shown so that it reaches the maximum people and maximum people can come here because during lockdowns they were really close and not making much business and it's um, 
self-volunteered work that they are doing it's not a job there's no salary but it's a volunteer work so all your support and love is required so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls come to coughing billy take care see ya bye bye and keep enjoying Thank you so much, Graham. No worries, Have you're a nice welcome. One. See ya. <laughs>